kicking, kicking off, kicking stuff off. Stop. Pause, you dumb sh- Here at Pocket Now, we're not exactly lacking for YouTube series. We've got the Pocket Now Weekly to bring you the mobile tech news every seven days, the Pocket Now Daily to give you a rundown of yesterday's news every morning, the Pocket Now VIP that lets us get to know the popular news purveyors from other sites, and the Pocket Now Live to give you the chance to talk to us face to face about the news. But we haven't had a show that tells you where to find our opinions. Specifically, the written editorials that give our site its voice. Until now, I'm Michael Fisher, and this is the Pocket Now Roundup, a -a once-a-week recap of everything happening on the editorial side at pocketnow.com. You'll get a quick overview of the notable editorials or features from the week, along with links that you can follow to read them. It's been a busy week, so let's get started. This is Pocket Now Roundup. Kicking off the week after two days on America's smallest network was me, with a report on using T-Mobile US for the first time in over a year. And though I used a very unflattering shot of T-Mobile CEO John Ledger within the post, that didn't stop him from responding to the editorial on Twitter, probably because it was a glowing review of a formerly piddling network that's grown a whole lot in the last year. If you're thinking about making the jump to T-Mobile, or just interested in what life on America's most magenta network is like these days, Check it out. Following that up on Tuesday was contributing editor Adam Dowd stirring the pot as usual with a contrarian's view on just why Nokia's star camera phone, the Lumia 1020, is not for him. Now, this is less a Windows Phone hit piece than it is a commentary on the staying power of Nokia's Lumia 920. And the comment thread is actually quite civil, so don't be afraid to weigh in with your own thoughts on whether the 1020 is still worth considering in 2014. I know where my opinion lies on the matter. As more HTC M8 rumors kept pouring in toward the middle of the week, Joe Levi graced us with a think piece on just how similar the M8 should or shouldn't look to the company's current flagship, the HTC One. I won't spoil Joe's conclusions, but in addition to using a pile of Star Trek-themed cookies as an editorial aid, he also shared this quote with us. Rear-facing speakers make about as much sense as an away-facing screen. Levi the Android guy knows how to turn a phrase. And closing out the short week was a very busy Thursday. The HTC talk continued on episode 083 of the award-winning Pocket Now Weekly podcast. That's still fun to say. Featuring special guest Nick Gray of Android and Me and HTC Source to talk all things M8. That was followed by Adam Dowd's controversial analysis of the pros and cons of Microsoft's new CEO and Taylor Martin's video review of the oversized Boost Max the carrier variant of ZTE's iconic phablet, which Taylor called a great bargain with quite a few compromises. That's sort of the exact opposite of my conclusions regarding Sony's Xperia Z1 Compact, an expensive little gem offering a small footprint with very little compromise. Both reviews are live at pocketnow.com, along with one last editorial that just managed to sneak under the roundup deadline, a Joe Levi piece predicting what Apple might be able to do to reinvent the smartwatch. Folks, if you're wondering where Jaime, Stephen, Anton, and Adam Lane are, don't worry. They're either covering the insanely busy news shift or they're cooking up more features and editorials for next week. For links to all the stories referenced in this roundup, see the description below. Follow us on social media. Like this video if you did enjoy it, and let us know what stories you want to see covered on the next one going live a week from today. Until next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, wishing you a great weekend with whatever mobile device you carry.